for the girls I love the most. I mean the ones. I mean like she's a ton. Feed her, breed her, squeeze her buns. She blocks the sun, she fills the streets. A whale's been beached. I'm obese. Need to feast. At the buffet now, I'm at Chick-fil-A. What's up, guys? Omni here. You guys know how it goes. Another day, another video. Last night, I tweeted, I sleep. What recent news, topics, tweets, videos you want me to talk about tomorrow? Hey, guys. Today is Monday, March 25th. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a really good weekend. We got a lot of news to talk about, okay? Stuff that happened over the weekend. So, uh, yeah. Let's just, uh, <laughs> let's just jump right into it. My guy, Willie Zelia said, I want your opinion on squatters' rights. A lady got arrested for kicking squatters out of the house she inherited. I heard about this. I heard there was some story where some woman, someone basically squatted in her house. She went there and then she got arrested. <laughs> Can you imagine going to one of your homes that you own? Someone's in there. You're like, what the hell? And then you call the police and the police arrest you? Hello? Okay, I need to figure out what exactly happened with this story because I've been seeing it float around and I want to know the details. So you guys that linked me to this video here where it says squatter standoff captured on camera in Queens. And I just... <laughs> Oh my lord. What are we let's just watch the video. What are we running into? No, the law. Yeah, there's laws. You shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. Squatter standoff. A property owner confronts a group of people she says moved into her million dollar home in Queens and our cameras were rolling as dozens of officers showed up. Several people were taken away in handcuffs and one of those arrested may surprise you. Wait a minute. <laughs> They moved into her $1 million house and then she got arrested for a, I need to figure out what are the squatter rules? I'm sure I'm going to learn it here right now, but this sounds absurd. It sounds like one of those extremely old laws that are like just in place and people just forgot, but I guess people are still abusing it and using it to this day. Maybe there's a reason for the law so that people don't just abandon properties or something. I don't know. Let's look more into this though. I have video of you. Oh my God. Who oh, are these people? Out the situation. Yeah, but they're my House, man. Relax. No, 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 no. To understand okay. how this day ended, we need the police right away. With multiple 911 calls and arrests, she's in the process of selling it. No, he locked it. But she's been locked out. She claims squatters moved in on February 6 and refused to leave. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, so they moved in February last month? <laughs> I thought it was like maybe she left and she abandoned it for like yo. It was it's gone for a month and squatters moved in and then he said it's his house it's like being here knowing you can't go inside of your own home it's enraging it really is in new york squatters have rights after 30 days by the time that someone does their investigation and they do their work and their job will be well over the 30 days and this man will have stolen my home oh my gosh you're telling me that if i sneak into somebody's home and then just stay in there for 30 days right they leave their home for 30 days and then i just sneak into there I have ownership. I have, I have rights. <laughs> what? Why is that a thing? Oh, this is absolutely insane, guys. What are you doing in the house? Are you renting this house? Why are you here? She unlocked the front door, saw our cameras and took off. It's open. Let's go in the house. It's open. Adele and her daughter with the property deed in hand went inside. This is my furniture. These are my curtains. She didn't just find her belongings inside. There's a man sleeping right there. Get out of my house. She found two men. How long have you lived here? I moved in about two days ago. They've called the police on me and I've called the locksmith. I didn't. They, <laughs> there's no way that I could go stay at someone's house and then call the police on them. There's how, and, she, and, and when there's, what is going on? This is absolutely insane. I have not seen a story this wild in a long time. You have something that shows that you've been here for they took the man who told me he had been renting for two days out in handcuffs. Okay. Got one out. And escorted the other guy off the property. Okay. Now you're to come out. I'm not coming out. This house is empty. This is my home. My locksmith is on the corner waiting to change my lock. It sounds like they're fine. What is there something that I'm missing here now? Are we halfway into it and it looks like justice isn't done? We got another two minutes, but <laughs> I'm like on the edge of my seat right now. How does this eventually turn bad? It's not fair that I as the homeowner should be having to go through this. How you doing? Minutes later, a locksmith showed up, but police gave her a warning before they left. I may end up in handcuffs today if this man shows up here and says that I have illegally evicted him. I said to them, let him take me to court the way I've been told to take him to court. Less than 10 minutes after police left and the locks were changed. The man who claims to be the one actually leasing the house shows up. Call the police again. With the other guy, police took off the property. Do you see this? This guy just literally broke down my door, broke through myself and my daughter 
to get in here. This guy just forced himself into my house. No, he did not. Yes, he did. No, he did. And he so did you. Him. You broke through the front door. No way this is happening. This is better than any movie that I've seen in the past, like, 30 days. This is, this is good oh my god okay we got one minute left how does this end this i would be so infuriated if i had to sit here and figure out how to get these strangers off my damn property i would be so pissed and livid she's doing a good job keeping it together i would be so pissed the man called the police on her so why is it that i have to leave and he doesn't have to leave because technically he can't be kicked out he needs to go to court they consider this a landlord tenant issue and by law it has to be handled through the housing court not with police if you own this house you would not want I her don't inside own the house. i don't own this house. exactly yes. she does yes but then once again you should know how the law works i and do know how it there's, works there's rules to the as you got to go to court and send me to civil court. He says he signed a lease in October, but wouldn't tell us with who. I got proof longer than that. Show us the proof. But who are you for me to show? I showed it to cops. Dan with Channel 7 News. If you don't want to show it, you don't want to show, show you it. Come here, brother. I like that. I, I, would, I would like to. <laughs> he said, oh, this is definitely Queen's dog. He said, who are you to show you the proof? You know what? I, I like you. I'll show you the proof right now. And I signed a lease. Who? Who did he sign a lease with? What magical landlord came in here and said, oh, no one's using this property. Hey, if you sneak in here for 30 days, you can lease out this. He was he was paying somebody that was not her to live in. <laughs> what? He didn't show me a lease. This, this is, is a bill. Is a bill for work he says he had done to the house. He didn't show police a lease either. The police department doesn't have the lease? No. He's got no documentation. Just bills. So Adele, you're getting arrested right I'm now? being arrested. For what? For being, in for, being house, in my, for being in my own home. It's and not, it's not and where's anymore. your lease? She's fighting the house. It's not her house anymore. My deed That's is current and legal. Arrested for unlawful eviction. She changed the locks on a man who claims he lives there. So how does this all end then? When do you the, leave? The way it ends is, is either she pays me my money that I put into the house, pay me the money, and I'll leave. Or send me to court, and we deal with the judge in court. Damn. Oh, my Lord. She got done dirty that's guys this is there's no way comment section's pissed off too this is a stupid law i'm triggered watching this video you better pay off to pay 10 hardcore gang members to go in there and make sure them suckers don't come back he provided no documentation how did he even consider him a tenant shame on apc7 for blurring out the squatters faces this is the most effing backwards law i've ever seen the homeowner was kicked while the squatter with no proof gets to stay what the hell is going on squatters better pray they never meet the right one <laughs> Sue the police department for false imprisonment. They admitted on camera they didn't even see the lease. And the fact that squatters have more rights than homeowners is seriously mind-boggling. So this article by New York's Picks, okay, said that this is how it goes down. The squatter rights, the squatter laws. A squatter is someone who settles on property without right or title or payment of rent. It only takes 30 days to gain squatter rights in New York, according to the state's real property actions. Under state law, squatting is a form of adverse possessor. Oh, that's the term. I haven't heard in a while adverse possession an adverse possessor can make a claim of right as defined by state law in addition to living in the property for 30 days a squatter must also stay in the property in a way that is obvious and goes against the ownership once a squatter has been living in a property for 30 days property owners must navigate new york city's eviction laws to remove them oh my lord and then if a squatter has been in permanent possession of a property for 10 years without interruption they can become the property's legal owner now that one I knew about. If you just abandon a property and someone's been living in that property for 10 years, I, I did hear about that one. They just claim it, okay? Because if you abandon some property for 10 years, yeah, that's not yours. You're not doing nothing with that, okay? It's gone. It's whoever's just in there living it is theirs. That one I can find, I, I can sit with that one, right? But 30 days, someone can sneak into your house. 30 days, live into there, and then they're good? They can just, you have to now talk it up with a court in order to get them ejected? The next steps would be a notice to quit, which notifies the occupants that they have 10 days to leave the property. The property owner must file an eviction lawsuit if the squatter does not leave in 10 days, and then once the squatter gets the summons, they will have 10 days to answer, and after court, if the squatter is required to leave, they will get a 14-day notice to move out. That, the process can take up to 
five months. That means that if you get in there, this entire process allows for whoever is currently in there to basically just stay in there for months and months. You're you're kidding me right now. They basically got played. This was done intentionally. He was like, yeah, nah, bro, I got in here. I got my 30 days. I made it. Now I'm going to stay in this property for five more months while you go through this tedious process of trying to get me evicted. And then once I extend my maximum time of being here, then I will get out. Meanwhile, you got to pay all of these fees and all of this missed income when you're trying to sell the property. That's there is just no way. This is whack. Guys, before we get further into today's topics, I'm happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by Zbiotics. Guys, do you hate feeling miserable the day after drinks? Same. Luckily, a game changing product called Zbiotics is here to help. Zbiotics, pre alcohol probiotic, is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by a PhD scientists to help you feel better the morning after drinking. Here's how it works when you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this product down. Just make sure to make Zbiotics your first drink of the night, drink responsibly, and you'll feel your absolute best tomorrow. One bottle of Zbiotics is equal to the cost of one beer, but nothing beats the price of a fresh morning. Here's how it works. It's pretty simple. You uh, <laughs> open the box. <laughs> it comes with this user guide, but you don't need that because I'm going to tell you how to do it. Just grab one of the bottles, twist it open, and cheers. That's it. Sometimes when I have a drink at night, I'm a little bit worried that I might not be able to hit the gym the next morning. So I tried drinking one of these capsules beforehand and I was pretty amazed at how great I felt the next day. So yeah guys, what are you waiting for? You guys can go to zbiotics.com slash omni or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use omni at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash omni and use code omni for 15% off checkout. And again, thank you for Zbiotics for sponsoring this episode and our good times. All right, let's just get this one out the way, guys, because we have an obligation to finish the story. We've already talked about it. <laughs> I think it's coming to an end. It's wrapping up. It's the whole situation between George Not Found and Katie. If you guys don't know what's happening, the quick TLDR, a popular Minecraft YouTuber by the name of George Not Found with millions of subscribers basically got called out for touching some girl underneath her shirt a year ago back at VidCon. She came out, made a stream, she talked about it, and then he responded and said, hey, he takes ownership and responsibility. And then she came back out and gave more receipts. And then he came back and gave a response to talk about like people being drunk and all of these just random details. Meanwhile, you have like two people that exist in this sphere. Okay, you have one people who believe that Katie is a victim, right? She's coming out here talking about her situation and people are downplaying it. And then you have another person who's like, Katie's just basically being performative and trying to cancel it. She had regret and now she's coming out here and she's trying to use this for cloud. Now you got these two clashes of signs and saying, George is innocent. She's guilty. She's innocent. George is guilty. And it <laughs> It's an absolute mess, okay? The Minecraft fandom and the internet just takes these stories and just wraps it up into their own parasocial understandings of what's going on. And it's it's getting to that point. So I'm just going to give you the nitty gritty of basically what I said last time. Did he do what she said? Yes or no? I'm just going to play this clip here, 41 seconds, okay? Where Katie's coming here to talk about the situation saying, Katie spoke out twice. She had different opportunities to say this. First, it was he held my waist. Then he touched under my shirt. Now he touched under my bra. This is vital information. Why has the story has changed? so many times. I'll play the clip. I have my opinion, but I'll save it first. Let's play the clip. I haven't even listened to the clip or watched the clip yet. It is sexual assault, okay? I'm not going to apologize, say that it isn't sexual assault, that I'm not a sexual assault victim. The touching that he has admitted, has admitted to many times, this touching that he admitted to not asking or getting my consent before he did, he felt up my tits on a couch with other people there. He stuck his hand up my shirt, under my bra, and felt up, fondled, whatever you want to say. He felt up my tits. Unwanted sexual touch is literally in the definition of sexual assault. So yeah, that's the clip, and that's literally the only thing that I've been saying for this entire the series is, did he touch her? Did he grope her? Yes or no, okay? If he went under her shirt and did not ask and grabbed her, then that's just sexual assault. That's just quite literally the definition. I don't think anyone's going to argue that, right? 
are you? If you don't believe that, you're a little sus, okay? But I felt like the entire situation, she was implying it. I also thought that George was implying it, but everyone's been saying that she's changing the story or apparently like that. But I, from frame one, that's what I thought what happened. <laughs> and it sounded like they were trying not to just distinctly say it specifically for, you know, whatever reason. Now the situation's very clear cut. Like I've been saying that the ambiguity between where exactly he placed his hands was kind of confusing. I thought that that's what they were both implying and the internet's been trying to dance around the top of it being her waist or her belly or her, her, whatever just dancing around this subject here of where exactly it is but now she's specifically saying that that's where he touched her that's where he groped her and if he does confirm that he did that if he agrees if he's taking accountability for that that's sexual assault we're done we're done here <laughs> if george responds to this situation and says that's what he did now if george responds and says no I didn't do that. Now we have the he say, she say, and that's kind of where it ends. Karina's saying Katie has said multiple times that he kept raising his hand under her shirt. She didn't change her story. You guys just don't care whatsoever. So that's why I was kind of confused. I, people keep saying that she was changing her story when it came to the touch, but I just thought, I understood, I thought it was implied that that's exactly what he did, but it was also a bit vague as well. And that's really all there is to the situation. It's so strange watching everybody kind of like talk about this situation, like 30, 40, 50 minutes going into intricacies of the drinking and the, the concepts and if she's lying or if she's telling the truth. I don't understand why we can't just literally just keep it simple. <laughs> identify what he did and if he confirms that he did said thing then we just move on that's what i think that's what's happening you guys can let me know how you feel about the subject all right here we go again generation game said so is the racism arc extended even more and we lost again so there was another splat fest with team fry two of them right with team fry again and the homies and there was so she had double the chances of winning and she lost them both if shiver lost big man won apparently it was keyboards guitars and something else the drums shiver got last place but we still just beat losing bro look at this big man 500 win like it's not about shiver winning it's the fact that fry can never get a w fry saying i'm haunted by failure no you're not you're not haunted by failure homie you're haunted by racism. So as a, as the racist advocate here, I will make sure to uphold your legacy. I'll keep fighting for you, Fry. And I will stay racist forever because they're doing my girl. How? How long has it been since Fry has actually won a splat fest? Now I need to know. I'm scared to look up this number. Guys, this is crazy. When I try to find out this information, one of the question is why is Fry's forehead so big? <laughs> Oh my God, my girl is getting done so dirty. This is the enter. This is this is messed up. This is messed up. She lost with Team Paper. She lost with Team Grub. She lost when she was on Team Fire. She won Team Sweet. That was the third one. That's when we finally got the W. Okay, this was a long time ago. Then loss, loss, aliens, loss, wisdom, loss, strawberry, loss. Fame, loss. Team Fry, loss. Skeleton, loss. Team Fistbit, loss. The only one that she ended up winning recently was in Japan. That's it. So it doesn't even count. We lost that in the United States. That was in Japan. Team Family, who do you spend the holidays with? Family, lost. What's the best day of the weekend? Saturday, lost. Uh, <laughs> Custard, lost. Which instrument do you play? Guitar, lost. Just, just L after L after L, there's just no way that this is not just systematic racism. I'm trying to keep my girl down. So yes, I I will continue being racist because I just this is this has got to be addressed. Someone has to stand up for my girl. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired, but I'm gonna keep fighting for her. All right, what's going on in the VTuber world? It's been a while since we talked about some VTuber stuff, but someone, you guys told me, a bunch of you guys told me that my girl, Bao, was in a bit of a cancellation thing. Something happened with her? What, what do you mean, bro? Top Room said, hey, Omni, let's talk about how disappointing the VTuber community is. <laughs> During recent events where some bad apples are canceling Bao, the VTuber, and Sun Kenji because of their models and accusing them for fat shaming people who are fat. However, that is not true. First of all, people are mad at Bao for a toggle. The Bao inflated model, which the model had made due to inflation kink. Don't ask me. Let me see. What is going on? Let's get to the source, okay? As an individual, I can only express my personal perspective and not everyone will agree on this. Both Kenji and Bao's models are inherently fat phobic. Neither is meant to represent real individuals. What, what do you... What? <laughs> Where's Bao's model? So this is Kenji's model right here? Where, where's Bao? Found it. What in the actual... <laughs> 
All right. Okay. What if what if my guys, what is the internet? What are y'all doing, bro? What is happening now? Okay. After looking at the internet for you guys for this period of time, running to this this being like a thing that's happening. Let's 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 think about this. Let's just let's just stop. We are in a universe where people have virtual avatars, right? And they are running the Twitch game by showing off the boobies and stuff. Not real people, but real people. And we have a community based on that. And then one of them decides to have a toggle where they look like a balloon. <laughs> and now we have internet discourse and drama because people are equating her turning herself into a balloon-like figure and turning that into fat phobia or fat to phobia. Okay, just, just, just wanted to rewind, kind of zoom out for you guys and see that that's now where we are. And now we're about to look into this. Oh my lord. Wide, wide, can't be told. These are the girls I love the most. I mean the ones. I mean like she's a ton. Feed her, breed her, squeeze her buns. She blocks the sun, she fills the streets. A whale's been beach. I'm obese. Need to feast. At the buffet, now I'm at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Yo, she was spin. Hold up. The <laughs> Wait, pause. Why did that stop? She was spit. She was that was that was bars, okay? I can't show y'all what's happened on the right side of the screen because it's just a bunch of pictures of Bao, but like people drawing her and she's like huge. And I guess she's, <sighs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I, can I, <laughs> I don't care. If, if, if you are offended by this, then you are justified in being offended. And if you think it's a joke, then you're justified and it's having a joke. But this is just an extreme, extremely huge nothing burger okay i think in the grand scale there's there's no need to cancel bow or go up in arms or pitch for it i mean just i don't care <laughs> i think that's what it boils down to okay i'm not going to pretend to care i'm not going to pretend to pitch for it i'm not going to pretend to be mad i'm not going to pretend to be offended I'm, I'm not going to also take away how you guys feel about it i think this is my only take on this to be honest is that this is wild that this is happening in the first place and to be completely frank, I just do not care. Just being honest with you guys, okay? I don't always say that I don't care, but this is the ones where I'm just like, I I have nothing to add because I literally just don't care. I that just one of the I just want to pull out that card, kind of like a freaking monopoly piece, my chance card. Don't care. Let's move on to the next. All right. All right. What rabbit hole do we have going on right now that you guys want me to talk about? Footblight said why not cover one of the craziest and most evil people I've ever met online? Hello? I've been getting tagged to this nonstop. People have been asking me to, to talk about this. It's like some post that happened from 16 hours ago. This sounds like one of those scary rabbit holes that I'm going to have to go into. What occurred? Who is the craziest and most evil person that you have met online? Some guy by the name of Noobster said that Falter X5 has harassed and slandered others for long enough. Please be aware of their previous and continued actions, which include repeated lying, doxing, botting, sizeism, homophobic, ableism, and IP theft, VTuber. F what? What? There's no way. You guys linked me to an 88 page document. There's a, a book? You linked me to a freaking book. I. <laughs> this is a whole ass book. There's an entire page that has a table of contents, uses of alternative accounts, YouTube termination, ban evasion, DMCA abuse, toxic messaging, harassment, various lies, ban platforms, doxing, scams, promote it. What? What? No, 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 no. I am not reading a freaking book. <laughs> First of all, how do you even have a book written about you about all the terrible things you've done? That's absolutely wild, right? But what? there's no internet. No, I don't even know who this person is. I checked out their Twitter and I'm blocked. <laughs> I don't know who this is. I've never met them in my entire life and I am blocked. I guess they just knew that I might be coming in. Someone must have tagged me or something. I don't, I have no idea what is going on. But the person that you guys are claiming is the most evilest person in the world is is I'm blocked. No, this got bad energy. This is bad juju. There's just uh uh. There's just some deep dives. Look, we do a deep dive. You guys show me some stuff on the internet and you say, Hey, how many? Can you look into this? This is my part where I am taking the agent and saying, say no. I'm going to save my mental health 
and your mental health from something that is just absurdly crazy. I feel like if I read that book of all of this stuff this terrible person did, I feel like I would come out of it worse. I feel like it would literally just deteriorate my mental health and yours for listening as well. So to save all of us, I am, no, nah, mm -mm. thanks for bringing it up to my attention. I'm not going any further. Good day, guys. If you didn't hear about this, this happened like Thursday or Friday of last week. Kate Milton has come out to talk about the fact that she has been diagnosed with cancer. The Princess of Wales. That's correct. In case you guys weren't caught up in the loop of what was happening with the Princess of Wales, okay, she actually disappeared for a while and the internet was trying to figure out where she was. And they were coming out with all of these conspiracy theories of where Kate Middleton is. This article by Things Worth Knowing kind of talks about some of the <laughs> conspiracy theories that people had. Left William after his alleged fair with Rose Hanbury, been admitted into a hospital for an eating disorder, employed a lookalike to take on her touring duties. Then people started looking at the photos that were being issued out by the organization themselves and they were finding out it was photoshopped. Her hand was photoshopped, her face was photoshopped. People were like, yeah, something weird is going on and it all came up to her coming out with this two minute video that I do not think I can play for copyright purposes where she talks about the fact and opening up with the fact that she has cancer. This however has not stopped the conspiracy theories. Okay, a lot of people backtracked and issued apologies for making fun of the situation and coming to their own random conclusions with no basis. But then you still have people who are like, no, this video itself was AI or saying that this is still a cover up or a psyop for, I don't know, God knows who what. And there are three things I want you to notice. That top shoulder that stays high and never resolves itself. The highlights of her hair don't really change when she moves her head. That's not possible. The other thing, when people talk, your nasolabial folds will move along with you. Notice how hers hardly move. And when they, when they try, when they, they don't move here from this angle ever, ever. Okay. When they start to move here, they glitch. Now I'm specifically trying to speak without using my voice to act like her, but yeah, AI, this is AI. So yeah, that's the new conspiracy theory. She's saying that the shoulder doesn't move, the hair doesn't move right, the, the lips don't look right, and now this video specifically is AI. Which now is leading people to believe that Kate Middleton is just dead or something, or something worse has happened, or maybe she does have cancer, but she's in a terrible shape so she can't actually show herself, so to make an AI. I don't know, bro. I, <laughs> I'm not going to go down the conspiracy theories rabbit hole, just letting you guys know what's currently happening with the Princess of Wales. I'm truly sorry to hear that this is something that she's battling with. So electrician said, remember Megan Hall, the police officer who got caught sleeping? with multiple male officers while on the job. I do. <laughs> I do remember that story, bro. That was wild. There was like nine or 10 dudes and it was a huge fiasco of all these guys who came out to talk about it. And yeah, I do remember. Talk about selling her lawsuit for $500,000 after she claimed that she was groomed. What do you mean? <laughs> What? She got five hundred thousand dollars under the under uh, being. Gr Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. How old is she? I thought the whole grooming thing had to do with like age. I didn't. What? It reads here. Megan wasn't looked at like a rookie comp to be trained and promoted. She was looked at like a piece of meat to be sexualized and exploited. Her lawyer, Wesley Clark, said the Law Vern Board of Mayor and Aldermen voted to authorize the mayor to sign a settlement agreement between the city of Law. Vern and former police officer Megan Hall, a statement from the city, said the city's insurance provider will pay the sum of $500,000 to Hall as a gross settlement, which includes court cases, attorney fees, and oh my God. So she slept with like the entire police force and then she got paid for it. <laughs> Wow, wow. I have mixed feelings about this. Like, there's gotta be more context, right? I gotta look into this really fast because there's no way that this is something that's actually a thing unless something happened in the background that we don't know about or maybe I still need to go find out because she's gotta have some type of leverage somewhere. Okay, so I did find the extra context. I actually found the court case itself, Megan Olivia Hall versus the city of Laverne where they talked about everything and uh, there was more context, okay? This person summarizes saying, you're intentionally leaving out the worst parts to make her look bad her boss sexually harassed her on many occasions and she turned him down. There's digital evidence of this. Eventually she gave in because he wouldn't take no for an answer, which is coercive consent, aka assault. Um uh gave in. That's I don't know how the way that is being painted, I I 
I don't know. Let me keep reading. Let me keep reading. He also recorded it without her consent. Once she discovered it, she asked him to delete it. He said he did, but instead he shared it with her co-workers from a burner phone. This was only one of the many instances where nude and lewd non-consensual images were shared amongst all the men there. She was sent harassing and threatening messages daily, coercing her into sexually complying, which again is assault through coercion. At one point, when a member of HR tried to step in, one of the men who had been abusing her actually tried intimidating them into silence by grabbing them by the throat? What in the hell? That? The abuse got so bad that she wound up having to be hospitalized for suicidal thoughts and intent. There's a bunch more, but this is just the main points. I didn't even go into the absolutely disgusting things that we're saying about her as well, and you can read it. And the basically, she gave the court case that was happening here. I, I, I'm not trying to do the whole victim blaming thing, and it sounds like everybody, all the parties involved were terrible. That's what it sounds like to me. She was a married woman, and she had an affair, and then the guy that she had an affair with was basically using her, recorded the video, was and she got in too deep and then she started just commingling with the rest of the force. That's what it sounds like. What we see here on paper versus what it sounds like what's happening is was trying to be a cover up. And then after it all got exposed, well, the, the best way to go about it there is to, you know, get a lawyer. And my guess is that this is what the lawyer probably told her to do. I, I don't know the full story or the full truth, but like, I think initially she should have enough agency to just basically be like, no, I'm not going to do that. And if someone's, you know, sexually abusing you at work, that doesn't mean that you just give in, right? You, you, you tell, you tell HR, you walk away, you quit. You don't be like, well, this is happening. Therefore, I'm she made the initial decision to, to go ahead and basically have sex with this person. And I don't want to infantilize her or take away her agency or her ability to just say no. That's, <laughs> but it sounds like it's a little muddy. I don't know. That has to give it context. You guys can let me know how you guys feel. It's a little weird and yeah. All right, guys, that's all I have for today's video. If you made it to the end, drop a like. Okay, don't forget. Okay, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Take it easy. Peace.